tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. Uh, my name is Casey Kepley, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the uh, topic of the uh, align command. Uh, now, you might be asking what the align command does and what it's used for. Uh, for this example, I'm just showing you a, uh, a site plan that I'm working on right now as a project. And you may notice that I've got highlighted here uh, uh, a roof plan or a floor plan of a house. Okay, now there's no interior walls or anything like that. And that's just for the sake of this project that I'm doing. They didn't want any uh, interior walls drawn. But, as you can see, um, there's a uh, property line. And that's this line right here. And you might notice that it's parallel uh, to the house. Okay, you see these two lines here. That one and pretty much, you know, all these lines right in here are all parallel to this line here. Now, how did I do that? Well, I had to use the align command in order to get that going. So, just to demonstrate for you how I did that, um, we'll go to the home tab and let's see here. We'll draw a rectangle. So there's my rectangle, right? We could say that would be my house. If I wanted it to align perpendicular with these lines right here, what you can do is uh, select the uh, line that you want it parallel to, go copy, and we'll copy that line. And then what you can do is highlight the object type in a line, enter, and what you'll do is, uh, actually let's turn on endpoint, we'll use endpoints here, so that snaps to the endpoint, um, and I'll cover all these at a later date um, and show you what they do, but that's endpoint, we're going to select that, we're going to bring it over here as our first destination, and then we'll select this uh, this other endpoint, and we'll bring it over here to the very end. Now all you do is hit enter, and it says scale objects based on alignment points. We're going to say no, and it brings it parallel to this line right here. Now if you want to move it back, you can do so. You can move it anywhere you want. And so now you have, you know, like your roof or floor plan parallel to a property line. And, you know, you can do this with other uh, drawings that you might be doing. Um, and if there's any uh, call to action for, you know, having an item or an object that's parallel to, say, like a, an exterior wall or, you know, the floor, uh, this is... A command that you can use uh, to do that. So that's the align command. Um, I'll be covering other videos uh, here at a later date on like the dimension style manager. Again, like I said, I'll cover some of these items up in here uh, which uh, have to do with the object snap settings and uh, I'll, I'll cover some of those in uh, future videos. As well as you know a lot of these other tools up here in the in the ribbon. Uh, but that's all I have for today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button and, and share this with other drafters uh, if you found the information beneficial. But other than that, guys, um, that's all I have for today, and I will talk to you here soon. Thank you.